So uh, a salon in our area, regrettably, you know, these things happen and, and they close down. Uh, we were able to contact the, um, the previous owner uh, and we were able to buy her, her database, her computer and database, uh, list of clients off her. Um, so we've, we've taken that and we've, we've imported that into our, our uh, point of sale system software and our marketing software. And we've started a series of campaigns with, with Greg Goddard, uh in terms of offers and, and how we structure things. So we've got a series of uh, email and SMS campaigns happening, um, and that's going out to the the, the previous clients of, of that salon that's closed down. And what results have you had so far from that, George? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, we, we're going out via email and SMS at the same time. Um, we did a, our first round of, of um, sending out about 10, 10 days or so ago. Uh, and in that first round, we booked um, around the 80 clients booked in for, for appointments with us. Um, and of course, we're trying to do all the right things internally and, and you know, get the rebookings right and, uh, and get them returning again. Uh, and we've just today done our second round of, of marketing. And again, that's email and via SMS. Uh, and the phones are running hot again this morning. So um, I can see that in terms of filling out online forms uh, in the first couple of hours this morning, we've got um, you know 15 or 18 forms that have that have been submitted for us to call people back and, and book them in. Uh, and the girls inform me that the uh, the phone has been running off the hook again uh, at the actual salon with people ringing to take up the offer and, and book appointments. So what are the numbers? You, you you bought a database. You paid a few hundred dollars for a database of how many yeah. clients? Uh, so look, they had they had ten thousand about ten thousand people in the database. Um, I'm not sure how great the database was. I, I suspect that some of that was you know quite old and and maybe irrelevant, but, but nonetheless, um, yeah, it's still it's still it's still just another name or a number that you can that you can you know reach out and make contact with. And how many do you think you've reached out and actually made contact with? Oh, I mean, look, if I take it in terms of the people who've rung and uh, made appointments, I'd, I'd say that we're, we're approaching 100 or probably going past 100 mark as of today. Um, so, you know, that's 100 new people coming into our salon just from a couple of marketing campaigns. And 100 people, let's say, let's guess, $1,000 a year each if they stay on? Yeah, it'd be nice to keep them. <laughs> it'd be really, really nice to keep them all as a regular. Um, you know, we've sort of set ourselves a benchmark of what we'd like to retain of those people. Um, uh, but yeah, certainly if we if we retained a, a hundred of these people as a regular client, um, yeah, it'd have to be worth a hundred thousand or one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year to, to the turnover of the business. Yeah. So the process you went through was you set up the offers on your website and then you emailed the uh, former salons um, client base. You SMS them with links to that page on your website, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, we created like a, a hidden page on our website. Um, we had the offers on there. We had a, a, a video that you recommended us to do a video and that's actually gone really well. So we did a, a, a video uh, invitation, a, a welcome video. Um, and then of course we just used the link to that secret page on our website and that was put into the SMSs and to the um, to the email, so they were clicking through and essentially going through to our website. And then from there, they could either fill out a form or they could just give us a call. Salons and spas close down every day, every week, all over the place. So what would you recommend? Uh, people try to contact those uh, former owners and, and perhaps look at buying the, their databases? Oh, yeah. Look, um, this, yeah. Um, Buying this database was kind of a uh, an off the cuff thought for us. It's not something that we had really considered as a strategic uh, marketing ploy. Um, but based on what we're seeing already, uh, yeah, if you're seeing um, you know a, a hair salon or a beauty salon in your in your vicinity close down, it is definitely worth uh, contacting that that previous owner and seeing whether they're willing to sell you their their client database. Yeah, it's definitely been a, a positive um, uh, outcome for us. 